Hi, my name is Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would unhaul some books. So recently I acquired a lot of books over the last month or so, mainly because it was my birthday. Um, I'll link my recent book haul video um, down below. Um, so today I am in a slightly different position to usual. I'm sitting on the floor in front of my usual filming chair and I am surrounded by piles of books. Um, so what I want to do is go through these because I know there's a load of these that I can happily take to the charity shop. Um, and there's some I might keep, but we're just going to go through it. So, so where should we start? Where should we start? Okay, I made a mistake by Jane Corey. I think this is a psychological thriller. Fans of Louise Doty and Claire McIntosh will love it. I have read it. I don't remember anything about it. Um, so that can go. Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. Um, I think this can go as well. I, this might be the only Lisa Jewell I've read. Maybe. And I think it was alright, but I'm not overly fussed about keeping it. So that can go. Um, the Loving Spirit by Daphne du Maurier. Now, I've not read this book. And I've owned this book. This is like a second-hand copy for... <sighs> easily over 15 years. Um, but... I'm still planning on reading it at some point, so... Where are we going to put our piles? That could be the key pile. Okay. Um, My Sister's Keeper by Jodie, Jodie Pickolt. Um, I think I got... So during lockdown, I bought a couple of um, book bundles from charity shops online. So you just get a load of books. You pay, like, not very much. And you don't know what you're getting. Um, and this was in one of them. And I actually did like it, but I'm not sure I'd be bothered about rereading it. So I think that could go. Um, Some of these are... Um, like blind date with a book thing, you know, that you can get in a bookshop where you just pay like a couple of quid and it's wrapped up and you just get a few keywords about it. This is one of them, Lady in Red by Sheila Quigley. I DNF this pretty early and I think it was fairly terrible. So that can go. Um, the Doll Funeral by Kate Hamer. I got this in a book box subscription from a company who I used to subscribe to a little while ago, not the one I use now. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get up my story graph to see what racing I gave this. So it turns out I gave this two stars, so this can definitely go. Um, another random uh, purchase where I didn't know what I was getting from a charity shop. Do you remember the first time by Jenny Colgan? I read it. I'm pretty sure it was not very good. Go. Um, another mystery book, uh, as in Blind Date with a Book thing, Where I Found You by Amanda Brooke. I DNF this, so that can go. And the phone box at the edge of the world by Laura in my Messina. This is quite a lot of people really like this book, don't they? Um, I read it and I thought it was fairly terrible, so that can go. Okay, right. Let's go to this pile next. Um, this is totally random. This is Caravel by Stephanie Garber. Do I want to read? So I've ended up with this purely by chance. Someone who used to come to our reading group at the library had lent it to someone else who had hold of it for ages, but then the original person left the group, moved far away and just said to the person, keep hold of it. And then that person passed it on to me just because whatever. Um, I mean, is it worth giving it a go? Do you know what? I'm going to keep it because it can't harm. I haven't even like looked at it. I don't even know what it's about. I think it's fantasy, isn't it? I'm going to keep it. Right. The Understudy. This is by four different crime authors, including Sophie Hannah and Claire McIntosh. I DNF this a few weeks ago um, because the voices of the different characters who I th assume were each written by one of these different crime authors, the voices all sort of seem really similar to me and I just wasn't into it. So yeah, that can go. Right. Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. I'm going to keep this. I read this earlier this year and I really, really liked it. So that can be kept. Um, the Cat of Yule Cottage by Lily Hayward. I got this in a charity shop and I did read this in December. And it's sort of like a cosy mystery in like a little village in Cornwall. But it was kind of strange. It had some like some sort of fantastical elements to it which I normally quite like but I didn't really get on with that I'm not going to read it again um interview with the vampire by Anne Rice now I DNF this last year 
but I'm minded to keep it because I might give it another go at some point so I think I'm going to keep hold of that one okay the rapture by Claire McGlasson McGlasson this is a very nice book to hold um I've read this this was in a book subscription box ages ago let me check my story graph so I gave this three stars and I might keep it mainly because it's very pleasing to hold so we'll keep that one right Stay With Me by Ayubami Adebayo. Now, I read this last year. I was meaning to read it for a while. Let's see. Let's see what rating I gave it. I think it was three stars. Three stars. I don't know if I'm going to read this again. I don't think I am. I can go. Right, Audition by Ryu Murakami. Do I want to keep this? I have read it. I think I quite liked it. I'm going to guess it was a three star. Let's have a look if I am right. Oh, it was a four star. Okay, I'm going to keep it. Four star means I really, really liked it. So we shall keep that. Night Shift by Chiara Ladner. I think I read this last year. Night Shift. I think I like this. I think this was four stars. Um, yeah, four stars. So I'm going to keep it. And then The Dynamite Room by Jason Hewitt. This was one of those blind date with a book and I, um, I'd i never heard of it before. Um, and I remember really, really liking it, even though I can't remember that much about what it's about. But I'm definitely going to keep that one. Right, where shall we go next? Let's do these. Okay. The Crow Girl by Eric Axel Sund. I, this is so dusty. <laughs> so bad um i dnf this like a few years ago i mean i don't know why i keep hold of books when i know i'm not gonna i'm just rubbish at throwing stuff out um yeah i didn't think it was very good i remember looking up at the time what the like resolution was and it was questionable so <laughs> that can guess um so picture mrs seaton by heron carvick this is like a cozy mystery i dnf'd this last year or the year before However, I'm minded to keep it in case I want to give it another go. Eyes Like Mine by Sheena Kamal. I DNF this. If this was in a, a book subscription that I used to subscribe to, DNF'd it. I don't think I have any inclination to head back to it. That can go. It Should Have Been Me by Susan Wilkes. I did read this. Again, this was a book subscription book and I thought it was pretty awful. That can go. P.D. James, The Mistletoe Murder and Other Stories. This was a charity shop find. I did read these stories, I think, last December. I didn't think they were brilliant, so I'm not going to revisit that. Um, Little Village of Second Chances by Gina Hollins. Not my normal kind of thing. I have read it. I think it was okay. I am pretty sure I'm not going to read it again. That can go. Um, From the Wreck by Jane Rawson. I read this um, as well. This is another book subscription book. I did not like it at all, um, so that can go. Good. Um, next is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. I have read this. Um, I quite liked it. It's in. It has sort of an interesting format in that it's got like. Um, that's a horrible picture. It's got pictures and like newspaper articles and stuff. I think I'm going to keep that because that was quite good. Um, Exquisite by Sarah Stovall. This is one I bought myself second hand online. I don't remember anything about it. Let's have a look what rating I gave it. Exquisite. I think it's like a psychological thriller. Don't remember anything about it. I have terrible memory, so that doesn't. That's no comment on the book. Four stars that can be kept. Human Remains by Elizabeth Haynes. I don't think I was fussed on this. So let us see what I gave it. Three stars. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother with rereading that so that can go. The Farm by Joanne Ramos. I bought this new. When did I buy this? I think when, after like the first lockdown in the UK. And when shops just started to open again, I went to one of the local bookshops by us, independent bookshop. I bought like six books at once, just like ran, not totally random, but 
I just wanted to buy a load of books so um, yeah some of them were just like very random right the farm I think this was no more than a three stars I don't think oh it was a two star so it can go and then quicksand uh, by Malin Pearson Giolito winner of Sweden's best crime novel 2016 I no, I don't even need to check. I'm pretty sure I gave this like two stars. I don't think it was. This is a bit like I think it's um, what do you call it when someone's falsely accused of something? Yeah, uh, waiting to stand trial. I don't think it was great. I hope I'm not messing up my piles of uh, books. I'll check them before I get rid of them. Um, right, those people by Louise Kanslish. Um, I think I thought it was okay. I'm not going to read it again. The Retreat by Sherry Smith. These both actually were, and there's some more here, I think, were the ones that I bought when the bookshops reopened and just like bought a load of random books. Um, the Retreat. I gave it four stars. So I think I'll keep it. Yeah, I've just checked. I gave this those people three stars, so that can go. Okay, we've only got a couple of piles left. Um, these are not all my books, obviously. These are just the ones where I know there's a load I can get rid of. Um, Clouds of Witless by Dor Witness by Dorothy L. Say, yes, this is a Lord Peter Whimsy mystery. I'm not like a massive fan of uh, the Peter Whimsy books, but I think I'll keep it. I have got another one somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, but yeah, I think I'll keep that one. Her by Harriet Lane. I mean, okay, this is... I must have read this about five years ago. Um, so, it appears I read this before records began. My records began in 2018. I, I don't think, I think this can go. You by Caroline Kepnes. Um, I have read the second one in the series. I've watched, I've watched all the series of the TV show. I'm kind of not that interested in reading it again. That can go. Tempting Fate by Jane Green. This was another one of those blind date with the books. I, have I read it? I might have read it. I don't think I'm fussed on keeping it. Um, right. Queenie Malone's Paradise Hotel by Ruth Hogan. Um, I think this was quite good, but... Um, but I've just looked it up and I gave it three stars. I don't think I'm bothered about reading that again. His and Hairs by Alice Feeney, a psychological thriller. So I've just looked this up on Story Wrap and I gave this, this is so dusty, um, four stars. So I think I'll keep hold of it. Um, Sealed with a Kiss by Rachel Lucas, another blind date with a book. I read it. I did not think it was very good. So um, that can go. The Girls by Laurie Lansons. I, oh, this is so old. I read this a long time ago and I did really like it. But I um, I don't think I'm going to read it again. That can go. Just a couple left now. The Wives by Lauren Weisberger. I DNF this, I think. So that can go. And then the last one. Unless I find any more to go through. Um, the last one is The Death of Her by Debbie Howells. Um, this was in an old like book, book subscription box. Just going to check what I gave it. Um, so right, so I gave this three stars. So I think that can go. That is pretty good. That's pretty good going. Um, right, I'm just going to count up how many books I'm getting rid of. One moment. Okay, so out of those books, fourteen I'm going to keep. And 29, I'm going to get rid of. So that is pretty good going, I think. Um, right, what I'm going to do now is rearrange my bookshelves. Um, because I had, like, piles of books on the floor, which is why I needed to do this, really. Um, so I'm going to rearrange these shelves behind me so I've got sort of my TBR a bit more um, accessible and in some kind of order. Um, so that's my unhaul. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you think I've made any terrible errors in judgment here. Um, I hope you're all doing well and I'll speak to you again very soon. Bye.